Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. If you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. I've got a very exciting video for you guys today. In today's video, we are going to be going over some more WWE action figure leaks. And I'm going to say straight off the bat, guys, if you guys only care about elites, you might want to click off this video because in this video, we are not going to be talking about elites, unfortunately. But if you guys missed a video we did just the other day, we talked about the leak lineup for Elite Series 87. So if you want your fix in, go back and check that out. I would highly appreciate it. In this video, we are going to be talking about Basic Series 122 and also Basic Series 123. And we are going to be talking about Championship Showdown Series 5. Those, the, those lineups are going to be the talking point of today's video. And pretty much uh, something else I should say is the figures on these leak list. We already knew about them. However, we didn't know what sets they were going to be in and pretty much this video is going to be confirming the lineups and you know confirming the leaks that we know that we talked about in a previous video we are going to be confirming the lineups pretty much so I, I could have said that much easier but you know me I gotta make it a big deal gotta talk for two hours about something that I could have said in three words you guys know how we do it on the channel but I gotta give a shout out to Mr. Wrestling Fig on the Mattel forums he was actually the person who posted these lineups and as you can see he posted the source uh, i would absolutely butcher the name of this website i'm assuming so i'm not even going to say it but you could obviously see the name right there i didn't bother checking it out i didn't know if it was a website i'm assuming it is one of the websites that are you know in a different country because you know 50 60 percent of the times the website's uh, you know, out of the country are usually the places that end up leaking the upcoming action figures. Uh, but I, uh, another thing I just wanted to throw out, even though I didn't have to, you guys pretty much could, you know, figure that out yourselves. But uh, we are going to be starting off today's video talking about Championship Showdown Series 5. As we all know, the Championship Showdown ser uh, Series, they replace the battle packs. Uh, they come, of course, with the side plates. However, uh, I, I since they're called Championship Showdown Packs, I really wish... They would come with the side plates and, you know, the title accessory. That's just my opinion. However, they only come with side plates, no accessories. Kind of lame in my opinion, but you guys get it. Uh, first up, Stone Cold and Mankind, ladies and gentlemen. Now, there is obviously a few different matches they face when they, you know, did title matches. But I went with this one right here, SummerSlam, ladies and gentlemen. Why I went with this one is because, number one, it comes with, uh, some, uh, it would uh, obviously come with the Smoke and Skull side side plates, which I think would be really, really cool. We already got that Triple H as the Ultimate Edition. Uh, the Mankind, I really like the tie at this pay-per-view. Yeah, stupid, I know. Uh, but I just think this would be really cool. And another bonus thing, you know, Jesse Ventura is in this pick, so I had to use it. Jesse Ventura, my all-time favorite person. Maybe we could get him as a collector's edition in the future. Highly doubtful, but you know, a boy could dream. But again, this is it. Uh, I had to, you know, try and edit this picture to make it a little bit more brighter because I already mentioned this in yesterday's video. Really, really hard to try and get a screenshot of a live pay-per-view with them together. So I apologize for for the blurry image but if you guys want to check it out you guys know where to find it but like I said, there was a few different options, but this would be my guess for the this championship showdown. Next up, we have British Bulldog and the Big Boss Man. Now, there's really only one thing I could think of when it comes to this two-pack, and it would, of course, be, you know, it's the championship showdown pack. So I'm going to obviously say it's going to be, you know, hardcore champion side plates. That would be the only thing that makes sense to me. If I'm missing something huge... Please let me know down in the comment section below. But of course, uh, I think it would be really cool. Of course, they are basic. So I hope that uh, because in this match, he wore the sweatshirt like that. But I think it's going to be cool for a few reasons. Number one, uh, it's going to be uh, uh, so the he's going to have the sweatshirt on. Of course, it's not going to be any cloth or anything like that. It's a basic, so it's going to be molded on. But number one, he, it's going to be a new British Bulldog look, which I think is really cool. Going to be coming with hardcore champion side plates. And the big boss man is going to be in his black tire so pretty cool two-pack if you ask me and then guys 
uh, something really interesting about Series 5 right now, if the leaks do turn out to be 100% true, which I think they will be, we are going to the final one in this set, China and Trish Stratus. So the one thing I noticed right away, guys, all flashbacks, all legends. Now, this is going to be the first time we see this for the Championship Showdown uh, series. So I thought that was really interesting that they're going ahead and doing that. Um, uh, there is one that we are supposed to be getting as well, but it wasn't on the leak list on this post. It is Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins. So maybe that's part of Series 6. Maybe that is going to be replacing one of these in Series 5. I have no idea. We're just going to have to wait a little bit longer to see. My guess is it will be a part of series six and we'll learn out the rest of that series sooner rather than later but china and trish i went with this one because it is the intercontinental title of course they fought for the women's title in a few matches but i just thought this one would be more unique more interesting you know a china attire we didn't get yet uh you know in the championship showdown will be coming with uh, you know unique side plates and things like that uh so ju just why not guys why not and you know that is so interesting val venus and trish and eddie and china you, you gotta I love Eddie in China, but Val Venus and Trish, I just think that's funny. I love Val Venus. A lot of people dislike him because of his Twitter rants and things like that, but I don't care about that. I, I'm talking about I like him as, you know, the wrestler. I thought he was really enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, China and Trish Stratus confirmed for Series 5. Now on to Basic Series 122. Chelsea Green, we already saw images of this. She is going to be the chase, so that is pretty obvious. Don't have to spend too much time on this one right here. Next up, we finally have confirmation. Damian Priest is going to be in Basic Series 122. Of course, we were all upset that it was a Basic instead of Elite first, but you guys know how Mattel does it. You know, he's getting really popular now. You know, the Basic for NXT people, usually first, then an Elite is right after. So I'm assuming we will hear some rumors, some leaks about a Damian Priest coming sooner rather than later. Next up, we have Charlotte Flair. Woo! I feel like it's been a while since we have got a figure of her. Uh, yeah, well, no, that's a lie. We just recently got an Ultimate Edition. But it's been a while since we got her, you know, in the regular basic or elite line. So if you missed out on that, Charlotte Flair was a ringside exclusive. I'm sure a lot of people missed out on it. So you, you get a new basic of Charlotte Flair. So that's pretty cool. Next up, Andrade. Again, I've said this before in a few different videos. W Mattel likes to put couples in... Um, in figure lineups together. Don't know what it really is, but I guess it's kind of smart at the same time, I guess. Uh, ignore Zelina Vega, you know, mostly all the Google images on on Google of Andrade, Zelina is in it. Uh, we are still getting her elite, so that is a good plus. But just don't don't focus on Zelina. We're not getting a basic fur. We are getting a basic of Andrade, so that is really cool. Another figure, another person we haven't got in the line in quite some time. Next up, Drew McIntyre. You know we've got a lot of Drew McIntyres recently. It's gonna just be a Drew McIntyre basic. Don't expect anything too crazy because they are basics, of course. So just expect you know a regular looking Drew McIntyre. Next up. Basic Series 123, the last set we are going to be talking about in today's video. Dexter Loomis, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of people are excited for this one when we went over the... the um the leaks in a previous video, a lot of people were commenting about this, uh, him in particular. A lot of people were excited about him. I, for one, am very excited for it. Hopefully, he gets an elite in the future. I would absolutely love one. Uh, but I'm actually very, very excited to see how this head scan turns out. That's the most important thing I'm concerned about with this one. Hopefully, they, it turns out good. I, for one, will definitely be getting it, even though it's a basic. You guys know my rules. If they're first time in the lines, I, you, you know, always end up getting them. So, uh, again, could we see a similar situation? You know, basic first, the lead next. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. Next up, Jake Atlas. Now, we talked about him as a basic a very long time ago, you know, a few months back. And at the time, he was leaked to be the Chase version. So, we're going to have to wait and see if that still holds up. Up. Uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see guys that was the the you know months ago so my guess if it's not Jake Atlas it has to be Dexter but like I said as of right now as of a few months ago he was considered the chase so keep that in mind uh, at the time when we first talked about him I had no idea who he was honestly next up I, I had to use a funny picture for this one guys big show he is uh, leaked to be in this uh, set as well now yeah, number one question people are gonna say 
Are we still going to be getting this? Are we not? Because, of course, he's in AEW now. My guess is we will still be getting this figure if it is too far into production. You know, Basic 123 is not that far away. We've seen it before where, you know, people aren't working for WWE anymore and their figure still ends up getting released. However, we've seen it a few times where we see the figure, it's almost coming out, and then it gets pulled and we don't end up seeing it. So, we're just going to have to wait and see how that turns up, how that turns out. You know, we're just going to have to wait and see. My guess, my guess would be that we will still be seeing this figure. Uh, again, which attire, which time frame is it going to be? No idea. We're just going to have to wait and see. Next up, Braun Strowman. We all know he is going to be a part of Elite 87. And, you know, sometimes Mattel ends up doing the Elite versions into basic versions. So my guess, it's going to be, of course, you know, a ball Braun Strowman, obviously. Of course, it's basic. So so no accessories. So pretty much my guess, same as Elite, just in basic form, no title, yada, 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 bald head, blah, blah, blah. And next up, the final one, Otis, pretty much the same thing for Braun Strowman. I'm going to say the same thing for Otis. Most likely going to be his Elite as a basic. Of course, no accessories, yada, 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 Otis, pretty asset, don't really care. But that was it for the video, guys. Let me know, are you excited about these lineups? Let me know if you're going to be getting anybody out of these lineups. You guys know all the good stuff to leave in the comments section below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are a new viewer, please subscribe for more. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you guys next time.